I guess I would talk about boundaries quickly. Um, yeah, there's three types of cell walls in our body. There's semi-permeable, uh, permeable, and impermeable. Now, when something gets into an impermeable cell wall, that's pathology, that's sickness, right? That's the definition in the moment of, of illness, um, pathology. Something bad goes into an impermeable cell wall. Shouldn't be there, gets in. Our emotional boundaries are the same. We have an open, semi-open, and a closed emotional boundary. And the, the you know, permeable boundary, the open boundary is just stuff should flow off your back. It should be pretty easy. Uh, where do you want to eat? Ah, I don't care. What music do you want to listen to? Whatever. The middle boundary, the semi-permeable, is room for negotiation. We're discerning here. We go, yeah, I'll go to dinner um, with the Smiths. Not my favorite people, but okay. You know, how long's the dinner? You might put some parameters around it. Uh, you're discerning. You, I can do this, but can we do it like that? And that, yeah, that sounds great. It's a little bit of a negotiation. Your impermeable emotional boundary is a no. It's a no. And a lot of times we think we can't trust the universe. It's that we really can't trust ourselves to uphold a boundary and really stick with it. When we tolerate the intolerable, but we become emotionally ill. So just like with a cell wall, if something penetrates it, and that's pathology, if we tolerate the intolerable in our emotional inner impermeable emotional boundary, that's emotional illness. Yeah. So asking yourself, what am I tolerating that's intolerable? That was a huge question for me because I was tolerating a bunch of bullshit and I had a lot of excuses and a lot of reasons to do it. A lot of people I loved and I made excuses for, a lot of excuses I made for for myself. But I had to really start looking at what is worth saying no for and drawing a circle on a piece of paper with these other two hoops around it and going, all right, what don't I care about? What's negotiable? What's my no? My health, my relationship with my child, uh, my mental health, my physical health, things like that. Mm. Um, I noticed, and you'll notice too now, when people have a deteriorated, deteriorated inner boundary, they get really hypervigilant about the easygoing outer boundary. You get fussy, you know, everything has to be just so, and little things make you uptight. That is the number one sign for me that I need to get back in my hoop, get mm -hmm. back into this boundary, that I'm letting something slide here. I'm tolerating the intolerable mm -hmm. because I'm getting very psychologically sensitive about stuff I shouldn't be that sensitive about. I think as a nation, if I could describe our nation, yeah, yes. that describes us. I think we need to focus more on what really matters, what our real no's are, really. And then we got to learn to negotiate and let the other stuff go. But we're so deteriorated here as humans, as individuals, that we get really uptight about all of this stuff. Mm -hmm.